Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow, and we are back with Mega Man Legends 2. Last episode, we found out that a man named Joe has the schematics for a dropship that he's made here in his shed. Roll's father was the only one who had the idea for the, or had the schematics for a dropship. So that means that there's some sort of connection there that we haven't figured out yet. Joe went off to a ruins. Come on, Mega Man, let's go! Okay, Roll, whatever. I'm gonna go back to the flutter for a second because I think there might be some items here. Plus, I think we can repair the fire damage that we took in the intro after Data set the whole thing on fire. Let me step in here for a second. Hey! Development room. Okay, yeah, see, this is where we can go to get our weapons made. I don't have anything yet, though. Uh, talk to roll? Repairs. There we go. The living room and storage rooms were damaged in the fire. We have to repair them. It'll cost 4,000 zenny to repair the damage to the living and storage rooms. Do you have any money? Not that much. Let me... Oops. Let me take a look. Yeah, I've got 200 zenny. <laughs> I don't have any money. Oh boy. Um, maybe we can find some. Let's go to Mega Man's room. What's going on here in Mega Man's room? Is it a little mo Oh, look at that! He actually decorated in between this game and the last one. It's the weird rusted over pipes here. Not a good idea to leave the oil on the floor. Someone might trip on it. Yeah, you know, that would have been extremely dangerous whenever the whole place was on fire recently. Empty. We found a thousand zenny. Okay, there we go. Haven't had much time to read these days. Looking at the cactus is strangely relaxing. It really is. Let me look at this cactus some more. What is your wisdom, cactus? Oh, he didn't have any wisdom for me. Okay, I thought I'd ask. Things have been so busy lately, there hasn't been much time to sleep. This is one of my favorite paintings, though it's hard to say why I like it. I like rocks. <laughs> That's Mega Man's logic there. I like rocks. Anything in here? No? Okay. Let's check Roll's room. See if we can scrounge up some more money somewhere. Please. I need anything. What's this picture supposed to be? Sometimes it's hard to understand Roll's taste. Are these like these are like gnomes on a picnic or something, right? What is going on here? Roll will probably get angry if somebody else opened her drawer. Okay, don't do that one. Oh, the diary. Which entry do you want to read? Fire. Thanks to Data, the kitchen in the flutter caught fire. Luckily, Mega Man was able to put it out before it did too much damage. Thanks, Mega Man! Okay. You're welcome, Roll. Sorry, I read your diary. I'm gonna do it some more. I'm gonna come back in the future and check your diary entries. Roll uses this Roll uses this lamp to read before going to sleep. Can't put makeup on without a mirror. Roll loves to wear red clothing. Yeah, that's all I've seen her wear, except for the brown jacket, I guess. She's mostly a red girl, though. Just like other roll. Original roll. OG roll. Okay, let's check Gramps' room. Oh, he got things a little bit more rearranged in here. Looks a lot nicer. The professor seems to keep up with the latest fashions. Does he? He looks like a... I mean, he's a well-dressed old man, but he's still old man clothes. <clears throat> he found 1,000 zenny. Okay, so the Flutter model had a thousand zenny. There's an old letter inside the drawer. Do you want to read it? Sure. Dear Dad, I've got exciting news. We're going on an expedition to Forbidden Island, where you and Blucher went all those years ago. I remember you telling me when I was a little girl about your adventures there. About the snow and ice storms. And about the mysterious diamond in the sky protected by reaver bots. And the mysterious girl you saw as you blacked out. You know how I love a good mystery? Just thinking about seeing all those things for myself gives me goosebumps. Banner has designed a ship that he thinks can land on the island safely. We're gonna test it tomorrow. We'll leave Roll to neighbors while we're gone. If something should happen to us, please take care of Roll. Well, we're off. I'll tell you all about Forbidden Island when we get back. Love, Matilda. Huh. Well, she certainly seemed a lot different when she showed up on that ship. Found 5,000 zenny. Must be what Gramps was saving for a rainy day. Sorry, Gramps, it's my money now. The professor often uses this to look at things both during the day and at night. Well, shouldn't it be somewhere where it can look out a window? It's kind of useless right here. It's in the book. 
There's a diary on the desk. It looks pretty new. You want to read it? Sure. Received an unexpected letter from Blucher. He says he wants to try exploring Forbidden Island one more time. It's been over 30 years since our last unsuccessful attempt, but it looks like he hasn't been able to forget about the island. I thought he understood that when I explained to him the dangers involved in pursuing his research, but it looks like he wasn't listening to me at all. I hear he spent the last of his fortune building a mammoth flying ship. I guess I have to accept the fact that no one, not even me, can stop him now. All I can do is hope that this wild adventure of Blucher's doesn't turn up any proof that my daughter and son-in-law did indeed die on that island. I don't know how Ro would react if she, were, if she knew for certain they were gone. That's the only thing that's been keeping her going all these years. The reason she travels the world searching for the mother load. She's not really searching for the mother load. She's searching for her parents. I'm going to meet Blucher tomorrow. I don't know what will come of the meeting, but I can only hope for the best. That's the last entry in the diary. Because now he is trapped on Forbidden Island. Okay, what, anything else here? Is this box important? No? Okay. Let's check the shelf. There are lots of files dealing with the professor's research on the shelves. Oh. Wow, okay. Once a long time ago, I went to the ruins on Nino Island to do some research on the civilization that preceded ours. The ruins there are very dangerous and are normally sealed off. I snuck inside without the Guildmaster's permission. Just inside the entrance, I found a strange diamond-shaped object. When I touched it, it fell apart. No, melted. And from inside there appeared a small child, a baby, and a monkey. Seeing as I had broken into the ruins without permission, I couldn't reveal where I'd found them. So I decided to raise the baby along with my granddaughter. Continued in Mega Man's Discovery 2. Oh. So you found me in a crystal somewhere, Doc? That's, that's what's going on? I decided to call the baby I found Mega Man. Actually, it wasn't my idea. It was my granddaughter, Roel, who chose that name. After one of her favorite video game characters. I tried to get her to change her mind, but she insisted that should be his name. At any rate, I raised him like he was my own. Well, now it explains why his name is Mega Man. Although it doesn't explain why the game character has the same name as apparently the robots that run the Eden system or whatever. At any rate, I raised him like he was my own. He was no different than any other boy. He quickly became part of our family. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll take a look at the rest of these. Forbidden Island 1. This is a report of my dad and... of my and... Blucher's expedition to Forbidden Island. The first problem we faced was the difficulty in approaching the island. Any conventional ship gets turned away by the winds. Attempting to force a ship into the storm surrounding the island almost certainly results in that ship's destruction. In a worst case situation, a ship would become lost in the storm and never be seen again. We discovered that there is an eye directly above the center of the island where the wind velocity is relatively light. Any ship attempting to land on the island would have to use this as an instrument point. We decided to design a ship with a rounded aerodynamic hull that was reinforced to withstand the atmospheric pressure above the island. But in spite of all of our efforts and precautions, we failed. Although we were able to land on the island, our ship was destroyed, leaving us without a means of returning home. Forbidden Island 2. Since we could not leave, we decided to make the best of the situation and explore Forbidden Island as best as we could. We were shocked to find that here, Reaverbots were active even above ground. Having lost most of our equipment, we were hard pressed to fend off their attacks. Struggling against both Reaverbots and the weather, we made our way to the center of the island where we found an ancient relic. I remember it well, a strange diamond-shaped object floating in midair. But by the time we found it, we were at the limits of our endurance. As I lost consciousness, I was aware of someone approaching us. A small girl, perhaps. Between the snow and the encroaching darkness on my vision, it was hard to tell exactly what it was I saw. When we recovered, we were lying on the outskirts of Yosyonke. How we got there was a mystery. Our ship had been destroyed, and to this day, neither Blucher nor I have any recollection of how we got there. After that, several diggers tried to reach Forbidden Island, but none returned. How we were able to do, how we were able to, is a mystery that puzzles me even now. Catalox Island. This is the last game. Last year, we explored Catalox Island, an island rich in resources. The island is riddled with ruins and tunnels, and a legendary treasure was said to be buried there. While we were there, we ended up finding the Bonds, a family of pirates who had come to Catalox looking for the legendary treasure. Although we defeated them a number of times, they continued to come after us, but Mega Man managed to hold them off every time. Although they talked 
big. Their bike was, their bark was more worse than their bite. Their bark was worse than their bite. Looking back on it now, they were actually pretty amusing to watch. I'm sure that we'll run into them again somewhere. Like, on the ship that you were on. You saw them, right? While Mega Man was exploring the ruins on Catalarks at the request of the Mayor Emilia, I saw something amazing. A large monolith descended from the sky over the island. I still don't know what it was, and I probably never will. All I know is that it had something to do with what was going on in the ruins. But the only person who knows the whole truth is Mega Man. Something tells me it may have had something to do with Mega Man's origins, and what he was doing on Nino Island so many years ago. Here's manual. Definitions? Oh, okay. That's all information we know already, because we played the last game. Technically, we already knew what happened on catalogs, but, you know, it's good to get the professor's point of view. The professor uses this to explain many of his ideas about digging. Okay. Is that like a buster cannon? That's what it kind of looks like. That's all of the rooms here. What's down here? <clears throat> this is where everything caught on fire. What's over here? Oh, bathroom. Well, it's washstand. She just can't start a day without using it. My job to clean, keep the toilet clean. Everyone likes a fresh bowl. Okay, Meg Man. Well, I'm glad you're a good little toilet cleaner. The living room was damaged by the fire and can't be used until it's repaired. The living room was damaged by the fire and can't be used until it's repaired. Oh, so I can't even go to those rooms until I fix them. Okay. Let's. I got some money from Barrel's room. So let's pay roll and get those fixed. Ah, talk to roll, repairs. I do have money. Okay, thank you, roll. Okay, make a man. Alright. Did all that. Now we go down. So, can I get into those rooms now? Or are they still... Do I have to wait for an amount of time? Okay. So I do have to, like, either leave and come back or wait some time. We'll find out. So what's further down here? Alright. Even more rooms that I don't know what they are. Where does this one go? This is the heart of the flutter. An explosion here would destroy the ship. Perfect. Now I can put my plan into action. Okay, what? Is in here? Like, what do you think with this? Kind of makes me think of Marvelous, the game I played recently. I mean, there are a few things that remind me of Marvelous and the Legend series, but being down here in the heart of the ship. Oh, I found 2,000 Zenny inside the panel. Okay, that's pretty good. But being down here in the heart of the ship, like, this is where I go to th throw my luck rocks in, and then I can take off and go to the next island. Has that kind of feel. Okay, well, we found another 2,000 zenny. That's pretty good. It's over here. Okay. I can go in here. Anything in here? No. Go with these red barrels. Nope. Work board here? No. Okay. Doesn't look like we got anything in this area. This hangar looks large enough to hold a small flying ship. Oh, this is probably where I used the drop ship, right? It's gotta be something like that. Wait, did I go outside? Oh. What room is this? There are lots of difficult looking books about engineering stacked up. Okay. None of the names on this map are recognizable. Not a very useful map. That's true. Normally you want to know where stuff's at. There's spare parts and pieces of machinery scattered all over. Maybe you can find a buster part or something. Nope. Lots of tools neatly arranged inside. It almost be really smart to be able to read all these books. Yeah, I'm dumb. I don't understand any of them found rapid fire. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Nothing of interest inside. Nothing of interest inside. Pick me of this. Nope. What about this little thing over here? This looks like some machine roll picked up somewhere. She can't help picking up stuff. Okay, so I did find something. We got a rapid fire. And a little bit more money. 
I think that's it for the flutter, though. I can't really get anywhere else at the moment. Not until the rooms get repaired. So now, we can head out. Before we go, I am going to stop by the... junk shop to see if there's anything I can buy. I don't have a lot of money, but I'm sitting on like 2k or so. So we might be able to get something. Okay, leave the ship. Merle's gonna be like, Mega Man, we gotta go! Come on! I gotta find Joe! He knows my dad somehow! Okay, roll, well, okay, calm down, calm down, roll, I get it! I know what we're supposed to do! But you know, this is an RPG, I gotta go buy stuff! Okay, here we are in the junk shop. Oh, okay, I'm back up to 5k, that's good. What can I buy here? Items. Okay, bionic parts is the life gauge increase. Ooh, rollerboard, we definitely want that. Because that'll let me get the jet skates, and the sooner I can get the jet skates, the better. I don't think I want anything else there, though. Ah, oh, the normal armor. Man, that would be so good to have. I'm buying the power razor. Okay. That'll probably be good for now. You gotta make a bunch more money. You guys got a bunch of stuff I need to buy. I didn't look around the town much either. Let's take a look in here, I guess. I thought we were gonna go ahead and go to the ruins, but there's actually a decent amount of exploring we need to do around town first. Hmm? There's anything I can help you with? I'm sorry, but I can't let any unauthorized guests inside. Security policy. You understand, I'm sure. Okay, well, yeah, I guess I won't then. The comic book must have been nice. Have must be nice to have lots of time to read. Mega Man, you talk how much about you? You talk so much about how you don't like to read. What is that comic book? Oh, it's Ice Man. It's Ice Man from uh, original Mega Man. Looks like there are two people living here. Living here? Isn't this a hospital? Lots of cigarette butts here. The manager must be a heavy smoker. Well, I hope it's not a hospital for smoking that much. Okay, well, I can't do anything in this building, and there wasn't anything around, so guess we are not doing anything there. It's over this way. All right. What's this on the table? Is that Mrs. Claus? You're supposed to be up at the North Pole. What are you doing here? Oh, that is... Look how majestic this tiger is. Oh, my God. What an excellent painting. I want that for my real life. The drawing of a tiger. This woman must like animals. I guess so. When the ruins outside of town were closed, a lot of people here left for Forbidden Island looking for new digs. My husband was one of them. Ooh. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I don't know if your husband made it. Here's a picture of a young couple. It must be this woman when she was younger. Okay. Anything on the shelves? A lot of difficult looking books. You found Broken Vacuum. Oh, there we go. Let's see. What's the title of this book? The Origin of Mankind. Hmm. Okay, so we found the vacuum piece. It's one of the parts we need for the vacuum arm. You probably remember that from the first game. It's pretty good. We already got the roller board too, so we're already... Oh, another thousand zenny. Nice, okay. What are you? Is a bird? A bird. Can I grab you? No, you just run away. Okay. Well, I thought it was worth a shot. See, I think I did go into the bar place last time, right? So what's up here? Because next to the junk shop was a bar, and I think I did go in there. When they were little, Von Blucher and his friends were very interested in the story of the goddesses. He thought the Earth Goddess was sleeping on Forbidden Island. Oh, okay. What goddesses? This is the house Von Blucher grew up in. Oh, okay, so this is where Mr. Sulphurbottom is from. There are several... There are, there are several bottles of expensive-looking liqueurs lined up. Are there? There's one bottle, and then, like, a carafe. <laughs> I don't think there's really much here. 
Biographies of famous explorers. They must be blukers. Okay, same thing there. It's the two goddesses. For some reason, they look sad. They do look sad. They also kind of look like Jesus a little bit. This one on the right, especially. Hello, Jesus. Lots of books about Forbidden Island lined up. Okay. So, this is the main thing he's got in his... Oh, hello. It's a picture of a goddess and angels. They look familiar somehow. Do they look familiar? Did you just look at a renaissance painting or something? Like, I don't think that's very familiar. We've got another Iceman comic book on the table there. Apparently, Blooper likes comic books. Okay. Well, what's his favorite comic book movie? I bet he likes Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, what do we got here? Nothing else? <laughs> okay. Hello there. You know the legend of the goddesses? No. Two goddesses, the same yet different. One goddess to rule the heavens above, one to rule the earth below. She of the earth guards the key. She of the sky guards the record of the ages. When the sky goddess lifts up her voice, all shall end, and all shall begin. What do you think? Interesting little story, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure that won't come up again at all. I'm sure that that's not going to be hugely important to the plot of this game. Just like on the last island when I read that random book that's like, there are disasters that happen on catalogs all the time. And then it turned out a disaster did happen on catalogs. These are the graves of those who went to the Forbidden Island and never returned. Amen. Okay, so you made graves for people you're not even sure are dead. But, you know, probably a pretty good assumption that they're dead. The strangely shaped tower has an air of holiness about it. Okay. Well, it is very somber here. It's just graves and a couple of altars and I guess a church. The strangely shaped tower has a solemn air about it. Yeah, is this a church building? Oh, look how fancy that is. Look at those columns. Oh, we went Grecian here, didn't we? Ooh, that's right. What's in here? Classical architecture. They don't make buildings like that anymore. Okay, what's going on here in the church? Welcome to the Yos Yonke division of the Diggers Guild. Oh, Diggers Guild. You can take the Diggers test here, which you need to pass to enter the sub ruins. What do you want to do? Learn about the test? The Diggers test tests your skill as you navigate the test ruins. If you can make it through the ruins within the time limit, you pass. If your life reaches zero or time runs out, the test ends. You have to take the test using only the equipment we provide you with. You can take the test as many times as you like, whenever you want. If you want to stop the test while taking it, press the select button and select stop test from the menu. An incomplete test will not be graded. You don't fail, but you don't pass either. There's something you should know about the diggers licenses. As soon as you get a higher level license, the reefer bots and other enemies in the ruins become stronger and more aggressive. If, after you get a certain license, you think the reefer bots have gotten too strong, you can't go back to a lower level license. Think carefully about whether or not you want a new license. It might be a good idea to make a backup copy of your current status before taking the test. I will not be taking the test at the moment because I just started the game and I don't even have any money and I can't buy stuff. May God's blessings be upon you, my digger friend. Even though you do in self even though you do in self-defense, it must be hard on you to kill so many innocent reaver bots. Let me pray for you. I will require a donation, however. Sorry. Oh, well, God is with you always, regardless. Please come again. Yeah, I don't have the money for that right now, old man. We'll see about that at some point. Probably not. I'm probably not going to give that guy money ever. Because there's so many other things I need to buy. Okay. So that's actually everything for the town, I think. I should go ahead and take a look at my time. Okay. Well, we're actually in a pretty good spot to stop at the moment. I don't think I went into this general store either, so let's go check this place. I can check the bar and see if it looks familiar. Anything here? Can I get some items? Ooh, is that another notebook? It's a comic book! No time to stop and read it now, though. Is that... I think that's Kalinka from, uh, Mega Man 4. Lots of fresh fruit and vegetables on sale. They all look delicious. Okay. Guess there's probably not much here in the general store, huh? 
shop also sells toys. Maybe there's one roll would like here. Oh, is that Zero? Black Zero with the green sword. Normally when you do Black Zero, you give him the purple sword because he's got the upgrade. Looks like the, looks like the hero of a comic book story. No, he's the hero of a video game. Mega Man X 5. Is 5 the first one where you can do Black Zero? I think it is. Aside from, you know, ROM hacks. You can ROM hack Mega Man X 3 and do Black Zero in that. You, you're a digger, aren't you? Get out! There's nothing here for people like you. Wow, okay. You don't have to be so rude to me. I just came to check what you got in your shop. Jeez. Alright, well, not too bad. A decent amount of exploring. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, come on. That totally went in. You gotta be kidding me. Give me that BS. There it is. Nice shot. You got 200 zenny. That's right. That's how I make my money. Putting cans in the trash can. It's a slow grind, but you make all that money some point. Yeah, I think I did come in here. Maybe I did. Is this a Mega Man cartoon? There's a popular cartoon showing. The main character looks familiar somehow. Yeah, that's you, Mega Man. There's Proto Man. He's whistling. Oh, is he crying? Uh oh, Gutsman through the rock. Mega Man, look out! You can do it, buddy. Okay, well, interesting little show you got there. She looks sober. She looks sober. I just wish she'd give me another drink. It's hard loving a man who's lost his memory. Oh, you must love Joe. I just gotta be what's going on there. Okay, well, that'll be everything for this area for now. So, next we're gonna be heading to the ruins. See if I can get another one here. Nope, my angles were bad. So, in the next episode, we'll be heading out onto the plains and going to our first ruins. See if we've seen if we can save Joe. Oh yeah, I should equip the stuff I bought, because I will forget next time. Uh, buster parts. Give me the power razor, and give me the rapid fire. Okay. I would like that armor too, but that's another... <laughs> 1700 zenny I don't have. So that's a little unfortunate. Alright, Data, let me save my game. There we go. Well, alright, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. Didn't really do much today, but we did get our exploration done here, so we're ready to actually continue on. We did find some good stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to get the jet skates pretty soon. And, you know, maybe some armor. That would be pretty nice. But yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. Next time we're heading to the ruins. We're gonna save Joe. Bye-bye!